Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the action-packed and exciting world of paranautical activity. We're doing a run as Dino Knight here, and we're off to a fucking flying star already, and shark nadoed right in the face. Now, this guy has this sword, um, which, I, I mean, I didn't really understand the concept of super weapons before, so I wasn't really using these things correctly. That's kind of alright, though, because this thing, as I said, it's a super weapon, so it actually consumes ammunition, if you will. Which isn't the handiest thing in the world. Because, um, yeah, you kind of need ammo for... Well, having to use ammo to use a sword, considering you've got a fucking grenade launcher, or rather a bomb launcher, means that you can, in theory, be left with no close-range defences. Which, as you can see, is problematic if you happen to be in fucking Sharkland. But... Yeah, I guess that's alright. I have mixed feelings about Dynamite's armament loadout. It depends a lot on what you're fighting and um, I suppose how lucky you are. If you're fighting loads of stuff that wants to get up close and personal, this is not a good thing. Because there's such a long prime time... I mean, if the grenades... Uh, the, the grenades... The bombs impacted... Uh, blew up on impact if they hit an enemy. I think he would be more effective, but... I don't know. At least he's not like fucking David Bowie. David Bowie just just falls over dead. He's because well, it's because he doesn't have a lot of health. He certainly doesn't have a lot of health right now. And when you're trying to shoot some things that are airborne as well, it could get a bit tricky. But um, yeah, you, you think that's bad? You haven't even seen half of it yet. So yeah, um, this is quite an interesting little run. Um, we get. We get to see some pretty neat stuff, stuff that certainly I hadn't seen before when I was playing this. Yeah, look at that, MLG style dodging shots. Who would have even expected it from me? Not, not anyone on the channel, I'm sure. Oh, shop time? What can we get here? Hmm. Hmm. We can just get an anchor, which we don't know what it does, so... We will save our pennies. So, yeah, the, the the dynamite, I don't know, at least he's got 6 health, I mean 6 health is enough to, I mean, you know, get completely bollocks over if you get caught unawares, but it's not a lot. I also seem to get quite a lot of armour in this run, which is even better. Time for a boss, eh? Oh, fucking hell, it's the fucking scientist guy in his, oh, Jesus. Melee weapons in this game as well seem... Kind of questionably effective since, yeah, most of the enemies do damage when they touch you, so you're, you're kind of playing a risky fucking game. Take that. Look at all that delicious shit we just picked up. How good is that? Go back here, skull. That's, um. Yeah, so I just wasted all my super weapon ammo on that thing that converted all of our ammo into money. How fucking good. Isn't that what we wanted to do? This is me not understanding what a converter would do. We need the sword because it's our only close range defense, but we now have no ammunition for it. Peachy. Absolutely fucking peachy. And it's snowing. Lovely. What? What a peaceful, peaceful day. And everything's kind of icy as well. Which is a pain in the arse when you're using a fucking bomb launcher. And we're just getting hit by every fucking thing at the moment. Ugh, even the enemies slide around, which is a nice touch, I have to say. I think what this game really needs, um, and things that would help... Because I make a big deal about music in games. I do. And... It's a big part of the immersion, and I think when the music is like it is in this game, where it's just kind of playing like a set of tracks, and there's no attachment to the game, it doesn't feel right. We don't want any of that shit. Now, if the music perhaps was somehow linked to the area, and maybe changed a bit, I think that would that would make the game feel a bit more kind of so cohesive. Is that the right word? Fuck off, everybody. Get fucked. Um, 
of course, I say things like that, and it's like I was watching um, LGR's um, review of Oh No Ninja. That's it, two for one. Um, of uh, the Quake. Now, when I was young and I played Quake, I was younger. I played Quake. Uh, I, I, I never remember the music because um, the version that I had didn't have music. Um, or if it did, it, it didn't play. I guess, I think you had to have the CD in to play with the music. And if you didn't have the CD in, you didn't get music. That's my reasoning, I'm sticking to it. And when I was watching his video and I heard the music, I was like, this is totally different. Because I always say, when I remember Quake, oh, this is like a setup. Oh, fucking hell. Glad I wasn't standing around next to that fucking barrel. Somehow we didn't get hit there. Oh, God, Shark. I'm Shark Dean. Get out of here, Shark. Oh, run. This is a nice little room there. I quite like it. Slightly different to the usual fare. Um, yes, and so it had a completely different feel because I, when I remember playing Quake, it was you know quiet candles burning and really very distinct. I suppose the soundtrack for Quake apparently is quite subdued and sinister than like the main title theme. Um, but it's amazing like how. It just changes your perception of it because it just it really blew me away. I was like, this is it's really surprising. It's just how fucking different it sounds. A lot of games are like that. Um, Half Life Two. One of the things I say about it, it had neat ish music. Some of the tracks Half Life Two were cool. Oh sh! Fucking look at that. We got one hell. Thankfully, these guys. As opponents go, they're not too bad. I mean, you, know, you know, we're gonna just, we're gonna somehow survive this craziness. I mean, it doesn't look like it. C incredible how much we're, we're, we're doing here. One of the things that I will say, oops, sorry, I bumped in. Um, it kind of becomes apparent about the combat and paranautical activity is you have to jump and move around a lot to try and avoid damage. If you did this in any other first person shooter, you would be aggravating all the COD kids, that's for sure. They would not be happy with you at all. There's a floating globule in the air there. Look at how much shit we got there. Full armor, full health, just from that one fight. Call that a win. And some wings, that means we can double jump. Excellent. Am I even going to notice that thing? Yeah, I do. It's a clock. What does the clock do? Are we feeling cocky? Yes, we are. Oh, look at that. This is a fucking nightmare's creation right here. It slows down time. Which is fucking cool, I have to say. It doesn't help us particularly, because we're still getting our asses kicked. Our ass kicked. Quake 2, there's another game that had music. I'm pretty sure I must have had that turned off for some reason. It's amazing. It's amazing to think that they're coming out with a new Quake game. I hope everyone's been watching E3 with as much bitterness as me. Quake Watch. Not happy about that. At all. Well, I suppose I'm being perhaps a bit unfair. It needs to come out first. I can't really write it off. Well, I don't know, people wrote off Doom's multiplayer beforehand and I said, no, no, you can't, you can't. You can't write it off. Oh, what do we want? What do we want here? Well, we can only afford the chosen one and shotgun. Hmm, double tap to dash. I mean, leap around. I like all the movement stuff. Uh, like the last time we had the that gun that like you blast around the place, this you can dash, <clears throat> dash like some kind of pony, a pony fan, 
Pony fans will be gasming all over the place. There will be jizz enough to fill an entire ocean. Onto floor three, which is better than we normally do. And it's dark. This is what I mean. I mean, I, I've never seen stuff like this before, but this is cool. Well, I say that. Those things are lights. They're not enemies. And um, you're going to see why this is a bit bullshit in a second. <laughs> There's no, there's, there's no light at all other than the fucking jellyfish and enemies. And you can't, you can blow them up, and then you're stranded in darkness. We used the dice. I don't know what it did. Yeah, it'd be nice if we had a torch. Look at this shit. We're like in some massive room. Oh, well. get out of there! We're using the dash ability to just jet around all over the place. Which just seems to be working quite well. Oh. Weapons, you say? I don't mind if I do it. Boat. This is the, the, the boat I think makes the map smaller. Dice. Lovely. Yeah, smaller floors. So, we've, we've got quite a good arsenal here. What's this shit? Flat cannon. Enhanced pistol. Enhanced pistol sounds good. Gotta be better than the sword, right? I'm being stupid because I'm consuming all my super weapon ammo. Because that's a super weapon. <coughs> It's a super pistol, is what it is. But it is, it is a, I suppose, a better thing to have than a fucking sword. Uh, uh. And it makes a, it's a very satisfying clack when you fire it. That's for fucking sure. It's kind of like we're, we're fighting in a, a, a rave now with all these fucking jellyfish flying about it. You can't even see what's happening. It's just, just blackness. Oh shit. And the fact that there's sharks as well is, is just so much bullshit. Ow. That's what happens when you stand around next to an explosive barrel. I should really know better than that. Fuck. Lamo. Taken down. Still some bad guy hiding around somewhere. Where is he though? Kinda fucking difficult to see. Roll the dice. I don't know what that does. There he is, cheeky mate. Somehow that didn't get him. That's fine. Jellyfish. I got the jellyfish on attack. Is we kind of need at least some light in these fucking areas. Uh, are we gonna get some coin? Oh shit! This room has kind of compartments in it, which is very strange. Certainly, we're, we're seeing a lot of different rooms here that we've never encountered in our previous playthroughs. Big fan of that. Makes me wonder how much like a variety there, there can be. <clears throat> um, I'm just trying to see what the fuck's happening. Sorry, I bumped the table again. Probably ruining the entire fucking thing. Because I have to do this post-commentary. It's a little bit clunky. Trying to get these sneaky gits are hiding down in the, the underhalls. There's still someone to, to kill. But you can't get out. Oh. Yeah, blowing yourself up with a grenade isn't smart. There he is, cheeky fuck. Hiding under there. It'd be nice if these areas had some kind of dynamic, or uh, some lights in them. So you can actually fucking see him. I'm having to use the grenades just to illuminate where the fuck I can go. And then there's a pit there. Just to really fuck you up. Hmm. Oh. I'm forgetting I've got the double jump. 
all these interesting room designs, we can't fucking see it because it's too dark. Uh oh. Who's this dude? Look at this. Look at this fucker here, yeah, speeding around. He's like cloning himself into loads of little baddies. Um, do you, you see what kind of happened there? Oh, he's fucking like healing himself as well. There's like Koopa shells flying about. Yeah, non copyright infringing shell. This is where this run goes to shit. Right here. I didn't really notice what happened because I was too busy feeling the. feeling. killing the boss. But we've, we've essentially just made this game hugely more difficult. You can see it down the, the next to the boat in the bottom left. Just wait till you see what happens when we try and fire our grenade launcher and why it's a problem. It, it is almost stunning that this is what can happen. Oh shit. You see that? You see that shit? So rather than have fucking bombs now, we have Koopa shells and we'll just fall into the lava. That was stupid. And yeah, they are fucking hopeless. They're completely fucking useless. Unless they actually impact an enemy, they, they don't seem to do anything. They just fly about all over the place. And generally make my life hell. So really what we should have done at this point was save up and try and get the rocket launcher. Because yeah, we've essentially fucked the grenade launcher. It's, it is now just a, a fucking liability to us. Look at this room. This is a cool room, isn't it? Oh fuck. I suppose it's good fire and forget, but in fairness we could kind of do that with a thing anyway. Ugh, and I'm like, look at them, they're just fucking... How do you even hit these flying enemies? You don't, is, is the short answer. This, this is just a, a... This is just a complete pain in the butt. So we have to just use our super weapon to kill those skulls. There's no other way we're going to kill them. Thankfully, the game is being somewhat generous in its health and supplies. Up there? Nothing going on in the penthouse? That's fine. That's fine. I like, I like these areas that have... Oh, what the fuck? Saw blades? Skulls? This might actually be like, the furthest we've got in, in a recorded... Oh, Jesus. A recorded version of this game. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Fuck the shells. Fuck the shells so much. But this is a cool little room with the multiple floors. It essentially just means we're running around looking for coins and trying not to get cut by that massive fucking saw blade. Because that would suck. We've got one super weapon ammo. Can't go up there. Only very short people are allowed up there. For some reason. And the 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 look at how they kind of fly as well. They 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 like they just fall down immediately. There's no travel to them. Before the grenades used to just we used that. That's not why we used that. The grenades used to kind of fly infinitely. Well, not infinitely, but they didn't get affected by gravity the same. But look, we, we could be even fucking hit things that are coming towards us on the ground. It's just. It's just a, a horrible weapon. And it doesn't seem to be effective at all. It's limited. I suppose in, in Isaac and the likes, you, you're supposed to be able to get equipment that can make your life more difficult. See, that didn't work. As well as equipment that's going to make your life better. Which is fine. But, fucking hell, this game's hard enough as it is. Kind of like this bit of music. This is quite cool. Ow. So we've got no armor now. <laughs> we can't even kill this guy. Ah, oh, I can barely cope with this shit. These guys, I mean, how the fuck can we even get them? Considering how 
these things get affected by gravity. We, we just can't hit them. And we've got a huge amount of environmental hazards going on here. Look at, look at that, it's just... It's just so shit. We, we can't, we just can't hit this guy. It is impossible for, them, for us to kill him. Not unless he gets particularly low. Even... Uh, it just, it's just sad, isn't it? And we're doing so well, and, and suddenly the game... There we go. Bit of luck. Suddenly the game's decided... That was me hitting myself with my own fucking turtle shell. Now we've only got one health. And before, even with one health, I felt quite potent. With this fucking turtle shell, I feel like I'm fighting with both my hands tied behind my back. And a blindfold. And, uh, and a fight that I've already lost. Because I've been disqualified for swearing at the referee. I've been held in contempt because I've, I've been a dick. So we rolled that. God knows what that did. It didn't help us, that's for sure. I was just trying to find any anything that might help us before we, we get too stuck into whatever's coming. We only got three health. That's not a lot of health. We can buy something here. What's a blowfish gun? That is a super weapon, unfortunately, which does not save us. It's a curious looking thing. It looks like it's got fish in it. It's like a giant cross between a plasma gun and a super soaker. Can only end with enjoyment for everybody. Fun for the kids and for the adults. Soak mum and dad and then soak the kids. Uh oh. Who's this Neptulord? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. We can't even fucking get a bead on him. Look at these shells just flying about. We're just having to hope that one of them happens to hit him. Really, I should be trying to get closer to him, I guess, but even when the. Ow. So that's it. We got, we got one health. A good amount of health, as you can imagine. We seem to be finding a bit of a rhythm. Come on. Come on, we can, we can get him. Just channel the power of Mario and don't let the little piranhas get you. Just like Mario. Mario managed to avoid them. Come on, man. You can do it. You can do it. We got it. We got this. Look at that. He's, he's nearly dead. He's nearly fucking dead. We got the rhythm. We got him. And then... Something killed us. Uh, so, yeah. It was a good run, though. It's all lots of cool shit, didn't we? So, yeah. Paranautical activity. A little bit more for everyone to enjoy. Thanks for watching.